Hey everyone, in this video I'll share a few useful workflows when working with COPS in the new Odini 20.5. The full scene is available on my Patreon. So the first one is on how to create this chamfer look for your displacement maps. And it's quite easy, you can just use the feather node and play with the distance. And this is different from the blur, where it would just smooth out the shapes. If you only want one row of shapes with the style pattern nodes, you can play with the pruning either by a tolerance value or by every other row or column. You also have a mirror node in COPS, but here you need to set the angle and the distance as offset. So now I want to fill some shapes with patterns and for that I am using the segment by connectivity nodes which will create this sort of pattern. Next I can use statistics by ID to isolate similar areas. In the composite view I can inspect the target value and feed it to a compare node, in this case I set it to equals to. And as you can see I successfully isolated the target areas. I have done the same for the middle parts. Then just multiplied some patterns over those areas. For this specific star pattern, I used a stopping port to create my own points, created a circle with the amount of points I need, and also added the normals with vex, along with some custom p scale for every other point. And when I feed it to a stem point, I get the expected result. Now tiling it, setting the pattern type to weather bond, which is this alternating setup. Instead of adding too many repetitions to the tile pattern, you can just scale it down and it will keep the tiling. Since I found the tile pattern a bit hard to control the spacing, for this bottom pattern I created my custom points with the stopping board and used again the stem points, feeding the shape to the stamp input. As I need to align the pattern to my UVs, I'm importing the original object using a rasterize setup to get the UVs position and a rasterize GU. Then I can use a blend with the pattern to check where I should translate it to. And finally connect it to the eye channel of my preview material. I am also using some ambient occlusion for preview purpose on the base color. So I hope this helps you finding your ways in the new cops, it's still all new to me and I'm planning to share more in the future. Stay tuned and check the file in the description. Thank you.